Hi, I'm Artifacts Mars with Mad Science Update for you. A large international research team led by Israel Hershkovich from Tel Aviv University and including Rolf Quam from Binghamton University, State University in New York, has discovered the earliest modern human fossil ever found outside of Africa. Findings suggest that modern humans left the continent at least 50,000 years earlier than previously thought. Missilea is an exciting discovery, said Rolf Klam, Binghamton University anthropology professor and a co-author of the study. It provides clearest evidence yet that our ancestors first migrated out of Africa much earlier than we than previously believed. It also means that modern humans were potentially meeting and interacting during a longer period of time with other archaic human groups, providing more opportunity for cultural and biological exchanges. Now, what's wrong with that statement? Uh, modern humans were meeting with other ar archaic human groups I don't get it. That is bullshit. And that's why it's called a mad science update. The fossil upper jawbone with several teeth was found in a site called Missalia Cave in Israel, one of several prehistoric cave sites located in Mount Carmel. Several dating techniques applied to archaeological materials and fossils suggest that the jawbone is between 175,000 and 200,000 years old, pushing back modern human migration out of Africa by at least 50,000 years. And it'd have to be a lot more than that for their theory to uh, actually work. Research analyzed the fossil remains intact, lying on micro CT scans and 3D virtual models and compared it with other hominin fossils from Africa, Europe, and Asia. Yes, uh, Europe and Asia and such that I'm going to bring up in a minute here. While all the anatomical details of this missile, Leah fossil are fully consistent with modern humans, some features are also found in Neanderthals and other human groups. So, I'm not getting this. Uh, is this a so-called modern human or not. I'll, uh, choose the or not uh, part of this. Well, all the end time. These are features that provide clear signals of what species Missilea fossil represents. Found a few teeth and a jawbone and you're trying to create a whole civilization out of it. Uh, no. Archaeological evidence reveals that the inhabitants of Missalia Cave were capable hunters of large game species. What large game species? The Middle East has what in it? Not much. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into that. Control the production of fire were associated with an early Middle Paleothene. Panathetic stone toolkit, similar to those found in earliest modern humans in Africa. Alright, I'm going to break this down. The reason this is a mad science update is that these people completely ignore the fact that it would have taken many, many, too many generations to count for, you know, let me say it, the skin pigment and bone structures and whatnot would have had to change to accommodate black folks, white folks, Asiatic folks, pygmies, aborigines. Need I go on? This is such hogwash. Uh... I'm not buying it. Sorry. 200,000 years? Mm, nope. Sorry. It's not going to happen. 
I think you scientists... I wish you would stop making up bizarre stories like this and try to do some digging and find out what our real history is. I think you're going to find there have been civilizations before, well before ours, and they've come and gone. It's uh, kind of what Robert Cremo leaves, I agree with him. I think we have had civilizations come and go on this planet. I don't think there's any question. Oh well, that's why it's called a mad science update. <sighs> I'm not buying this, sorry. It's not even in my gray box, it's in my scrap box. Have a good day, I'm Arfax Mars, thanks for watching.